Okay, so now I'm going to show you the app that it uses uh, for this uh, light switch. It's called Casa. And uh, you can see here kitchen light. And the cool thing about uh, the cost, this versus say the Wemo switch, which I have, um, this actually tells you total runtime. So if you're curious as to how long your, your light has been running, um, you can click on the arrow to get more uh, usage information. So today it's been running 0.1 hours current runtime, total runtime 0.92 hours. Past seven days, uh, daily average of 2.51 hours and then total runtime 17.6. So you can kind of gauge, you know, how long you've been running it. And, and uh, so it kind of helps you if you want, if you're very conscious on your, on your consumption. Um, I thought that that was neat. The Wemo does not provide this information. So um, something to think about if, you know, you're in, if you don't know which light switch to get if you want like data like this, um, TP-Link has it. Um, I believe their plugs also have this information and their Wemo plugs don't. You can schedule um, and, and create a schedule. You can see I don't really have a schedule. I don't need to run a schedule for my kitchen. Um, you can um, set some aways, um, uh, away mode uh, when you're on vacation, start a particular time and a particular time and it repeats um, days of the week. And then you can also do a timer. So, you know, uh, I haven't figured out w a good use for a timer, but I'm assuming you want to go to bed in an hour. You're, you're um, w you know, watching TV and you want the backlight in the kitchen. In my case, you can set it for an hour and, um, you know, and uh, it'll turn off in, after an hour. So I thought that was neat too. So, um. Yeah, so uh, again, the, the really neat feature of TP-Link over Wemo is that it does have the total runtime um, data um, that Wemo does not provide.